this is a watercolor commission from MTAC 2017 and I'm going to do some fun techniques to hopefully teach you some new ways to use your watercolor supplies. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a watercolor pencil or a watercolor crayon and we're going to add some stars here in the background. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a cup of clean water and a brush. We're going to just do a little bit of a shine around some of them. And we're gonna give that a chance to dry. Next, using a synthetic brush, we're going to coat our brush in some brush soap, which I'm doing slightly off camera because I don't want to drip. And then we're going to use some masking Priscuit or masking fluid. And we're going to cover the inside of some of our stars. Now that I've finished with that, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to go wash out my brush completely. All right, guys, so the next step is we want to do an all over wash of a sort of a blue gray color since they are outside at night. And then I'm going to try to sprinkle brush out into it. I say try because I don't want it to end up on their faces. So I am trying to fill a fairly generous area on the little pan that came with my koi set. And you guys can check out a review of the Sakura Koi Field Set by clicking this card here. And I'm just activating those, but I'm also going to go grab some paper towels. Giving those pans a little bit of a chance to activate. And this sort of stuff is actually kind of my least favorite because it has to be done quickly and it has to be done with kind of a steady hand. And uh, that is the worst thing to do when you're recording because there's so many opportunities for things to go foobar and you can't really easily fix them when, you're, when you've got a mic attached to you like a collar. So, I'll do my best. So I'm doing an all over wash because I want to tone the page. And that's why I'm just kind of going all over everything. And remember, watercolor do dry lighter than they go down. I'm gonna to wanna to prop this up as well because we don't really want this to dry flat. I really shouldn't even be painting it flat, but I have such a limited size workspace here that I don't usually get too many options. So I'm going to lift that up like that and give that a chance to dry. Right, so that first layer has had a chance to dry. I'm actually going to mix it a little bluer because I have my two brush -o colors, violet and black, handy. I'm also going to grab a coin mop because I'm gonna to wanna to do a blend. So I'm basically going to Actually, maybe I shouldn't even do the blend because I do want to do brush in this. And if I do a blend, it will affect the brush -out. So what I'm going to do, I think, go ahead and do this wash. And my paper's still elevated. Then I'm going to sprinkle my brush -o in while the paper is wet. And that's a big one for this sort of a technique. Even, because I want it even over here. 
and I'll sprinkle in the black. Then I'll use a clean brush. We'll see how this goes. This might not work out perfect. We'll find out. To sort of blend it. I mean, that's kind of an interesting technique. And I am rinsing my brush off between strokes because I'm picking up a lot of that brush out and I don't want to, it builds up just like if we were using um, a watercolor pencil. Oh, and see, I have a, I have a big chunk of brush out in my brush. So I'm going to rinse that out. Then work around the figures. Gonna have to rinse it out as well because I'm getting a little bit of red and black, which isn't a problem, but as you guys can see, it kind of accumulates. And this is sort of my first time trying a combination technique like this, so have to bear with me. I think it's working out pretty well. Okay, yeah. And then I'm going to use a thirsty brush. A thirsty brush is just a brush that's been dipped in water, had the excess water removed, so it's going to want to soak up water to pick up some of the pooling because color tends to settle in pools, and pools also just tend to make your watercolors take longer to dry. And then I think mm, I'm kind of tempted to give it another pass, but I think I'm actually going to let it wait. All right, so I'm going to let this dry. All right, so this has had a chance to dry. I'm going to sprinkle in a little more brush out and you don't wanna do it until you can see it because um, <laughs> by the time you can see it, it's too much, especially with like some colors that have a finer particulate. And then I'm gonna use a little mister misting away from the characters in sort of a radiating pattern. Let's see if I can. So I just applied dry brush out to dry paper and now I am spritzing using a small spritzer and you don't have to use one just like this. I actually prefer the cheap ones from the dollar store that are a little bigger and they have a little, their mist is not as fine but I have misplaced them. So use what you have. I also don't like this little thing because it jams up on me and it won't. All right, looks like I'm gonna have to refill this. And this encourages some backflow into these areas that are not as, um, maybe don't have as much brush or as much color. I'm not trying to get it to perfectly integrate. I just want some better color effects. And for color effects, brush -o is great. I always get loads of compliments on my brush -o pieces. All right, so the next step is to let this dry as well. All right, so now that our paper has had a chance to dry, we're going to brush away the remaining brush out and we're going to use a paper cement pickup like this to gently pull up our masking frisket. We're gonna do that for all of the stars. So I'll just demonstrate a couple. In fact, I'll pick one that looks kind of dirty and zoom in and you guys can see the difference. So this one up here, you guys can see I'm using very gentle movements to pick up the masking fluid. Not, don't want to damage the paper surface. So I'm going to do the rest off camera and then I'll check in with you guys. So as you can see, most of these stars look kind of stark. There's definitely a lot of contrast between the brightness of the stars and the background. So what I'm gonna do is using some clean water and a brush, I'm actually going to blend some in a little bit better just because in real life, some stars are brighter than others. 
So I'm really just gently activating the brush out that is in the surrounding area using a clean, wet brush. And I'm cleaning it off every time so I don't get some cross-contamination. And I'm not gonna do every star, but I am gonna do quite a few of them. Just knock a few of them back a little bit. Found one I missed. And the wrapper cement is pretty handy because it means you don't have to use your hand to do it, which isn't a problem, but if you're afraid of smearing paint or getting your hands really dirty and you're not really in a situation to clean them off, like uh, maybe you're plein air painting and you're like me, you just have a lot of bad luck when it comes to dirty hands, so you just prefer to try and keep your hands clean. Um, the rubber cement pickup is really good at sort of picking up the rubber, I mean, picking up the, um, the masking fluid, sorry, without damaging your paper and without getting your hands dirty. And I'm using Windsor and Newton masking fluid. So far, it's actually working quite well. I've tried several brands and have been really dissatisfied with other brands, but this one is pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna let that dry. All right, so to me, these look a little bit more like fireflies than they do with st than stars. So I'm just gonna roll with that. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you even found it uh, inspiring. If you're looking for more watercolor tips, tricks, and tutorials, make sure you check out not only my watercolor playlist here on this channel, but my watercolor hub page at natosoup.blogspot.com under the watercolor basics heading. There's so many wonderful tutorials there. You'll be painting in no time. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you guys again really soon. Bye guys!